Oh my god, it's so loud. It's so loud. I can't hear myself. Oh god, it's so loud. So loud. Is it low right now? Yeah, there we go. Oh shit, I started recording. Oh my god, that was awkward. <laughs> what, what am I doing? Hello, everyone. How are you? Are you good? I really feel awkward right now because I was... I didn't know I hit the record button. I'm so sorry if you heard that. <laughs> I was trying to lower because I just launched this thing and it was like super loud. So anyway, um... <clears throat> welcome to Enroll. Enroll is a game that is, uh... I think... It's a horror game? <laughs> I haven't really, like, you know, played the game or even watched gameplay yet because I thought that would be a little bit cheating, so I kind of want to experience it firsthand. So, uh, what I read from the page is that this is a horror game and it can get pretty creepy, and if you can't handle it, you shouldn't be playing this game, apparently. Well, let's try. I'm probably gonna shit my pants, but it's okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, kid. Get walking. Ooh, edgy guy. Boy. <laughs> I can't get over the awkwardness that I just did. So I'm so sorry. Boy, honestly, a private room for a kid like you? That's a real luxury, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna buddy you. Alright, we're here. You're gonna live here starting today. Hey, buddy. You know what they call this? Karma. That's not a really good thing. Considering the stuff you did, can't really object to the experiment, eh? What are you, Canadian? Yeah, well, good luck in there and all. So long, you crazy bastard. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Every time when you call someone crazy, you're the crazy one. Oh god, happy music. I'm digging this music so much, it's making me so happy. Aw, it's a little blonde nursey. Good morning, the range maniac. What? How do you like this room? Is it not embarrassing for you to live in such comfort? What do you mean? What did I do? Now then, the medicine. Quote unquote medicine. Is that a shot? Oh boy. You must now inject happy dream. Have has a powerful sleeping effect. Amazingly, after the injection, you will experience the happy dream phenomenon. As the name implies, you will have a perfectly happy dream. Oh. Why? You s scarce, you scarcely even deserve to use such a great, happy, power, wonderful medicine. I can't read today. You would administer, administer it once per day, so please enjoy your day. That's all for now, so let's happy dream. The music stopped. Um, oh, okay, a syringe with medicine, should I inject it? His face though? <laughs> nope, don't do it, you know it's bad, let's get out of here. The door won't open, time for the injection. Why, am I forced to do this? Is there no other option? There's a cassette tape inside, play it back. No, I don't want to see that nurse again, she's creepy. Okay, so there's like no secret here? I mean, I know that door is locked. Is there like a secret door that I can escape from? Can I just sleep without the medicine? Is it possible? No? Alright. Well, let's do it. Let's do drugs. I mean, don't do drugs. Inject today's dosage. Ooh. What happened? Where's the TV? A window. Can I go out now? Oh, oh, excuse me one moment. You look creepy. Don't. Are you gonna kill me? She looks like the kind of anime girl that's gonna walk up to you and be like, hey, hey, hi, and then stab you from behind when you're sleeping. Sorry to startle you. You're Russell, yes? My name's Faria. Beautiful name. You look really creepy still. From Dreams, Dreams and Guidance, Inc. It's good to meet you. It's my job to support you here in this happy dream, so hi! Yeah, you really look creepy. You're gonna stab me, aren't you? Oh, well, I'm here, but I don't know what I should do. She just read my mind! <laughs> Not to worry. I'm scared. I'm, like, freaked out right now. Like, if a stranger walked up to you and just be like, 
Oh, you want to pee? I know where's the toilet. I'm gonna tell you for 10 bucks. Oh god, um... Okay, where? Uh... Yeah, she looks really creepy. <laughs> Here in this dream, you are a new inhabitant who just moved in today. You see, why do they use the word inha inhabitant? Which means today you should go greet the people around town. Yes, that would be nice. I still have things to do, so you just do your thing, okay? Well, see you, Russell. Have a good dream. So, she just disappeared. The mailbox is empty. This is- oh, okay, this is where I came from. Balloons? A mailbox with a password, what's with this? One... Um... Doesn't seem to be the right password. I don't even know what's the password, it doesn't even let me type. Oh! Oh, the balloons are like the characters, okay. Russell, a boy lacking in motion, I can tell by his face. Having a pleasant dream after injecting a medicine called Happy Dream. Age 14. He's only so young. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go say hi to the people. Apparently this is like farming sim- Oh, it won't open. Is this harvest- Ooh! Bad. <laughs> no image. <laughs> they look creepy though. This is not a happy dream. Can I- No? No? Okay. So I'm limited to just this area. Animal breeder. Tsubasa's house. You sure those are animals? Here, any time to look after or treat injured animals or for anything else. Is that a girl? Oh, it's a guy. <laughs> hey, you're a new face. When did you get here? Huh, so you just came today. Well, pretty good place, right? I'm Tsubasa. <sighs> he looks like a girl. I can't take it. I take it and raise a bunch of the animals living near town. Feeling restless in a new place? I can tell you all sort of stuff, so don't hesitate to ask a thing. Alright, can you tell me why my room is so empty and your house is like full of crazy animals and there's chains on the wall and there's so much box and the lights are also creepy and this is the lamppost that I see outside. I'm sorry, I'm asking too much. He's gonna kick me out, isn't he? The thing inside the cell are looking at me and muttering something. Listen in? Hate you, hate you, go home, go home. What? I know you because I saw... Saw everything. What do you mean? Don't stare, please. I'm making love... I'm not gonna read that. Alright, there's a back door there, clearly. But I can't go in there. A pile of many boxes, all labeled animal feed. Can I get a weapon? Key rings for the cages and... Carp box boxes. A big steel drum. Is anything inside? I wonder. There's a lot of stuff on the desk. Detailed data on the animal's health, division of feed, etc. 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 Et yeah, that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I talked to this guy. This crazy guy with a bunch of people in there that wants to kill me. Ooh, a cake house. Herbs and plants. Cody's house. Is that a house? Cody? Sounds like a guy. That looks like a girl. Eyeballs? It's label Adam um, Mem I. Homeward Rudy, five packs. I don't get it. There's a strawberry dude up there. A bunch of strange stuff on the table. Yeah, he looks really sad. I mean, in pain. This house looks so cute on the outside and the inside is kind of scaring me and the music. God. Dot, dot, dot. Who are you? What are you, uh, what are you here for? New resident, huh? No wonder I've never seen you. Why do you look so mad at me? You're like so pissed. My name is Cody. Yeah, I kind of figured by reading the sign out there. I have recently sell the plants that grow around this town. If there's anything you need, you can come by and I'll sell it. <clears throat> but if you want to buy, you better bring walnuts. I don't- I won't give out any freebies. Okay. You look like- You look like a girl that's- I don't even know why you're a girl. Ooh, those are the strawberry things I saw. Some unknown vegetable is buried in the ground. What about you? Vegetables? That's obviously a strawberry. 
Okay, I'm not gonna touch them. They're probably gonna start screaming in my ears like a mandrake. What is this? So ch herbal medicine shop. Okay, let's see. Ooh, pretty. Very Chinese. There's a mess on top of the drawer. Huh. Ooh, you have a tatami too. Cool. Ah, do I see a new resident? Well met, young one. I'm not that younger than you. You look way young. You may call me Cantera. I work in the selling of medicines. It's a pleasure it is. Medicines, true. Medicines, though, they are. They're not especially powerful as what you'll call herbal medicine. Merely remedies to treat minor issues like chillness or rough skin. No, it's really nothing much. But, should you need such things, you may summon for me anytime. I shall try to provide my aid. You sound too formal. I don't like you already. Ooh, there's a piece of note here. Aids, ads for herbal medicine. I almost read that as AIDS. Is this a potato? Gardenia's house. Hello, you have a quite terrifying house. Why do people always have eyeballs in their house? And why does a plant look like they have life? Is this a- is this all a lie? It's like- I don't know, it's like- I feel like all these people are fake. Why do you have wings? Are you dead? Huh? Someone I don't know. Hello there. You look like F Feria or that first girl that we saw that's creepy, but you're like the happy version of her. I'm Gardenia. I'm 14 and I love to cook. Let's get along. We're the same age? Oh god, I thought you were at least older than me. From what I can tell, you're about my age too, right? Are you stalking me? Will you be my f Will you be friends with me? Let's be friends. Sorry. Alright. Wow, really? I'm so glad. I've never had a friend my age. Yay! Oh yeah, once you're used to once you're used to town, you should come try my cooking. I'll do my very best for my friend. That's what they all say until they poison you. Alright, so what's up? Did you need me? What's your specialty? Hmm, I'm good at a bunch, but probably meat pies. I learned from scratch from dad. Meat pies? What kind of meat is in there? Of of course, I can't make them any better than dad can, after all, he's a pro. But, someday I'm going to be a fantastic cook like my dad. Cheer for me, Russell. Okay, meat pie, eyeballs, yeah. That's definitely a good sign. That's a wife material right there. Oh god, what is this? How does this house even stay intact? Like, how is it not falling? Mayor, Sexton and Merrily's house. God, that name's gonna be hard to pronounce. Eyeballs again? What's with eyeballs in this game? Sculpture title Jealous Beast. So green is jealous? Huh. Interesting. Hmm. And then familiar face. Is it you? Are you the boy who was to move in today? My name is Sex and I'm so sexy. Oh, sorry. I, I serve as this town's mayor. It's good to meet you. Well, it won't be immediate. We'll have to issue you an ID soon enough. Around here, you need an ID card to go to other towns. Just in case there is any trouble. Do I look like I can make trouble? I'm only 14. Oh, there's roses here. Can I pick it up and give it to my waifu? No. Okay. There's an eyeball there! I almost missed that. You see that thing on the table? That's an eyeball. They feast on humans' eyeball. I need to hide my eyes. Alright. So now we know. I don't know who the other one is. Howdy, partner. Hey, kid. Hold up a sec. Ain't see you around these parts. Where are you from? If you if I don't like your answer. Just kidding. <laughs> I've been hearing about you. Nice to meet you. The name's Yumi. I'm the town's well. I guess you might call me the resident police. I do this and that to keep the peace, so if you can spare any time, you ought, ought to come help me out. I can't make that accent, I swear. I'm probably gonna butcher every single word if I try. There's so many places! Oh my goodness, this town is so huge. Won't open. Okay, blue house, no open. Okay, no blue. That looks like a mouth. Church, Dogma's house. Oh, it's a 
the church. So pretty. Look at the tinted glass. Ooh. The goddess statue, statue made of stone. It's polished and shiny. Aww, he's a good priest. Eh? Now who's this? As you can see, I'm praying. If you have any business, save it. I see. A new resident. Introduction then. My name is Dogma. I am the priest of this church. At this church. <laughs> if you have any interest, even you may enter the fate at any time. God will gladly accept all. Oh. <sighs> I'm not gonna question that. Ooh. A magnificent pipe organ is polished and shiny. Is it gonna collapse and kill me? Okay. Because if I've played some horror games before, I know every time when something seems normal, especially organs or piano, especially pianos, I don't know why, they love to like freaking collapse and kill you, like squash. Yumi's house. Oh, Yumi, the, the cowgirl. Okay. Looks like they're out. There's a note saying, out patrolling for the town's safety. That's what I do. Alright, so where else am I supposed to go? This town is fucking huge. Looks like there's a forest this way. I should greet everyone in town first. Okay, we need to like go buy a weapon or something. Defend ourselves. Oh. I think that's it, right? I've talked to almost everyone. Oh no, there's a pink haired girl. What is that? What the fuck? Hintman. Hello, I am Hintman. A spiritual dream thing. If you are poor at remembering faces and name, I have good news. I have good news. The building right of your house has everyone's information laid bare for you to see. Any resident you have met with their personal information, it will be there. That is all for today's hint. Please, with respect, call for Mr. Hint. Remember your hint manners. Okay, I'm just gonna walk away slowly. Mr. Peanut with a super long nose. Hmm, what does the master think of me? Loves me, loves me not, loves me... Oh my goodness, he doesn't love you. He's old enough to be your dad. Shake it up, girl. Ah. <laughs> it's so anti-dramatic. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Who are you? How long have you been? D did she see that? Please, don't tell anyone, I beg of you. Uh, um... Excuse me, my name is Merrily. It's nice to meet you. I butchered that word. I really did. Um, I work as a servant at Mr. Saxon's home. So if you need me, you'll find me there. You'll, you will forget that, won't you? Promise? You must. Seems I've greeted everyone. What should I do now? Go take away all those eyeballs. They're gonna eat your eyeballs. It's everywhere. It's no good. Can I go talk to that fairy lady that probably knows what's going on in this town? Everyone is too nice, it's too cheerful, it's scaring me. What am I supposed to do now? There's no real objective to this game. It's all silent in here. Okay, let's see. Ooh, all the balloons is in here now. What am I supposed to go in between? Oh, there we go. Oof. Now you look scary here. Your sprite looks different. A cheerful girl who runs a restaurant. Honest and without worries, but truthfully seems very lonesome. Oh, now you look like a man. A caring young man who looks after animals and livestock. Kind and languid, but he's active, ultimately. Cool. Oh. <laughs> she looks like a crazy servant that will stalk the shit out of the master. A lady working as a servant at the mayor's house, always fretting, fretting over things, but kind and considerate, seems to have some feelings for Saxon. Saxon. Dogma! The guy who is praying. Serious young man who runs the church. A fervent believer. Thoughtful of his sister, but rather grumpy. 25? A girl who harvests and sells plants. Strong will and not very open with her feelings. Surprisingly shy. Yeah. A carefree young man. Oh, the Chinese food. The Chinese guy. But his name is not really Chinese, though. <laughs> okay, blah, blah, blah. Speaks like an old man, yeah, true. Due to his grandfather's influence. Okay. Yumi, the cowgirl. 
A spirit lady who keeps the town peace. Physically strong and dependable, but can be a bit too hothead. Sounds gorgeous. The town's mayor has an elderly personality, extremely stern but calm. Apparently he's too frail to go off or to... He's 45. Okay, how old is her? I knew it. He's like 25 years older than her. Doesn't make sense. He's old enough to be to be your dad. All right, let's go talk to everyone again. I guess that's what I'm supposed to... Oh, God, the eyeballs are always getting me. You want to talk to me? Oh, let's see. What do you want? Just want to talk. Say, are you done introducing yourself to everyone yet? I see. That means you met my brother. Yeah, you know, at the church. The sort of grumpy guy. If anything, I think he's less grumpier than you. He's a little over serious and can be awfully blunt, but don't be too put off. Okay. Oh, let's see you. What do you want? I'm here to shop. Oh, really? In that case, can you go pick something out directly? I've got three items. It's probably not apparent what they do at a glance. Well, just buy one and find out. Um, am I supposed to pick them here? <laughs> don't buy. I don't even know how much walnuts I have. Alright, let's GTFO. Nothing. I didn't read that, goddammit. But I know she was blushing because she's like, Don't talk to me. Why don't you talk to me? Alright, let's go talk to that old man. And see if he have our ID ready. Mr. Old Man. Do you have my ID ready? I see you marching there. Hmm, let's see. What do you need of me? Uh, what's an ID card? Just want to talk. Not sure what to do with your time. However, too early for bed. Yes, so find something that needs doing. Come to think of it, Tsubasa has plans to go to the dozing forest. What say you company him? There are monsters there, but experience is everything. I doubt it will be a detriment. Detriment. Alright, so Mr. Green Hair. No, not Green Hair. Ash Brown. No, Ash Silver Hair. That looks like a girl. Needs help. I mean, he does look like a girl. <laughs> Can't blame him. Hello, my friend. Hey, Russell, you done talking to everybody in town now? Why do you have that look on your face? Hmm, you did that, but now you don't know what else to do. Hmm. Well, do you want to come with me to Dozing Forest? See, Gardenia tells me she lost one of her hair ornaments in there. And for some reason, it fell on me to go get it for her. You want to go? It'll be like a walk. He's sweating, so that means that forest is not safe. I'll go with... Not right now. Alright, let's go. Oh, cool. That'll be helpful. The more the better when you're looking for something. Let's get going, then. There's something... There's some dangerous stuff in the forest, so be careful. Oh, he's in my party now. Yay, let's go. Can I pick other people as my party member, too? Let's try Gardenia, since her stuff lost there. Wow, what's the occasion? You two going somewhere? Somewhere? You already forgot your request? You're too young to be going so now. Eh? Did I request something? Russell, you say something for me. Nice weather. <laughs> huh? Where are we going? Um, let's be nice. Oh, that's right, that's right. Which means you're ahead to, uh, headed for Dozing Forest. Thank you. It's my favorite, so tell me if you find it. That's a bold claim, considering you forget all about it. Can you cook for me? Go for it, you two. I heard there are dangerous animals in Dozing Forest, so be careful. If you're unsure, it would be good to buy some of Dr. Cantera's medicine. That's the best stuff for injuries. Oh, but if you want to shop around here, you'll need walnuts. Animal would drop them, so basically to kill animals for your meat pie. Okay. Got it. We'll definitely kill all the animals for you, darling. Don't worry. I got you. I'll feed you the meat pies you want. Alright. I don't have any weapons, so... Oh! An orange balloon. Is it a save point? Uh... Diary... Yeah, let's save. Alright. Oh. Wow. Cannot control, cannot control. Help me. Uh, you there. I'm begging you. Please give me some word of encouragement, please. 
good luck. You can do it. I don't care. <laughs> really? I don't care. This is an option. Good luck. You can do it. Ah, thank you. Hold on. Hold on. Just stay right there. <clears throat> There you go, buddy. Finally stopped. Thank you very much. I am a would-be incarner. Your word of encouragement indeed rang true. Let me thank you. Super Ball. We are still very afraid of the green monster up ahead. That we cannot do business now. I believe you can do something about that green monster while you're at it. I believe. Thank you. So you're setting me up for a trap. Oh god, that scared me. Monkey appeared. Why do they look like that? Um, skill? Attack? Let's go. Death be with you, the monster is vanished. Eight experience for a walnut. So that's the animal she's talking about? That's pretty insane. Alright, let's. Are you kidding? Zoo ticket. <laughs> one child, one child. Alright, let's, uh... <laughs> Is there no way to, like, you know... Um... Defend yourself? Nameless town. Why is it nameless? You know, like the- Oh, it's locked. Dark Culver town. Oh my god, come on. Um... Defend yourself. Let him do it. Yay! Tree walnuts. Alright, cool. Uh, I keep bumping into them. This is so annoying. Alright. Um, no skills. No yo. Why did they attack Russell? I don't get it. Okay, that was quick. Let's um, hurry in somewhere. Wait, actually, let me save first because I'm not very. Fuck. Uh, do I want to fight them or do I want to run? Item. Super Ball. Oh, okay, let's um. Yay, he leveled up. Oh, hello. Oh, what trouble, what trouble. I'm really at an impasse. What should I do? You there, boy. Will you help me? Please help me. Will you hear me out? Hell if I care. Alright, what's wrong, buddy? Thank you. You see, we in Carners have been peacefully doing business in the forest, clearing outside. But now an eerie beast has appeared, rendering us unable to do so. Isn't it terrible? So I would like you to do something about that monster. Please, I'll reward you. If it's gonna risk my life, I don't think a reward's gonna be it, you know. Why is there an eyeball here? Is this Illuminati? I'm really worried. Alright, let's go with my little baby feet. Seaside? Ooh, sounds interesting. Why are there so much cats here? Ooh, a present box. I love presents. Good medicine. Trial pill. What does it do? Oh, it's blocked and there's two cats here. Yeah. What's with you, kid? Got some business with me? <laughs> Sorry, ain't letting you Drew got important deals going on. Meow. Real hush. Real hush hush. Dirty. Dangerous deals. Meow, no. 
speed it before you get hurt. Why you sound so edgy? I mean, I did give you an edgy voice, but uh, whatever. Mm. <laughs> the good stuff. Just can't get enough. Are you high? Uh, stop your staring. No ID cards and an unfamiliar mug. And overall suspicious. No way you're getting through me. Yeah? Now beat it. Alright, I'll beat it. Jesus. Oh my god. Not you monkeys again. Oh, I don't heal up when I level up? That's dumb. Ooh, sweet damage. Death be with you. Is there any way to heal up like a poke center or something? Alright, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna keep saving because I'm not really confident with my own skill. Alright, um, I saw an orange balloon here. Fuck you. Fuck. Take the monkey out, yo. You dodge my attack. You dodge my attack? How could you? Why are you attacking poor Russell? What did he do? Alright, I, I definitely need to buy some healing stuff. My my dude is not working it too well. And I just finished complaining. 17 health. Squad. Ooh, cool. Um... Uh, Okay, it doesn't have any skills yet, so let's do this. Uh, skills. Um, no, 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 let's attack. Because our health is pretty fine, so let's do this. Yay, defeat those zoo tickets. The monster vanish. All right, give me some medicine. I don't. I still really don't know what the orange balloon does, but I really do need to get some medicine on the road because I'm pretty sure the green beasts that they were talking about are probably like you know a boss or something. So, oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's go get some medicine. All right, what you got, buddy? What you got? Ah, it's you. What of it? Show me medicines. Let us chat. This is not <laughs> Surely take a careful look. Um, trial pills. 25. 20 MP. Good but bitter. Herbal remedy for fainting. Um, it's not really telling me how much it is. Um, Oh, it's actually pretty cheap. All right, I'll take two capsules. Good medicine. Uh, wait for fainting. I'll take one, sir. All right, we good. We good. Why can't I have a house to rest in? What kind of RPG is this? If I can't rest, you know. Oof. All right. Let's go. Well, that cowgirl still fitters around. If I keep bumping into enemy, I'm probably just gonna cut it short so that I can go to the. <sighs> I just said it. Oh no, he's 19. Okay, um. Alright, you attack the monkey. You actually do. Alright. There we go. Um. Annoying monkey. You look more like a crazy monkey over an annoying monkey. Tree walnuts. Yay! Ooh, wild firing learn. Cool. That's like a skill, huh? Alright, let's save a little. Again, with the saving annoying part, because I can't avoid that. Alright, so C side is closed, that side is closed, so we have only basically one choice to go. 
Um, so let's uh, kill these tickets. A child ticket is not a good ticket. Alright, I have to look. 15, so it's uh, 30. No, that's a bit too, too much. So let's not overheal him until when he needs it. Alright, got two walnuts. Alright, let's head to this area with the boss, I believe. Oof, what is that? Uh, okay, that's good. Alright, let's attack. Monkey. Monkey bad, monkey die, monkey. Monkey attack. Alright, now I could do this. 15. And then you attack. Yeah. What? He's not dead yet? Okay. Okay. Let's keep attacking them. Yeah. You're dead. Alright, so there's a hair ornament. Hey, here it is. The ornament Gardenia lost. This is probably it, right? Jeez, you can't believe her. Making, me, making men do all the work. Well, she is kind of cute, so... <laughs> Even if it's us we we're talking about. Anyway, glad we found it. Now to bring it back to Gardenia. Oh no, I should have saved. Whoa, what? Oh no. Am I ready for this? Witnessing one. What the heck is that? I didn't know there was something like this in the forest. I, I don't know what's going on, but be careful, Russell. It's coming. Oh my goodness. Um, let's attack. Uh, no, use skill on it. Deals decent non-elemental damage to all enemies. Oh. Alright, let's go. Take him down. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um. Keep attacking it. You, um, 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 um. Uh, should I heal him, though? No, not yet. Not yet. Um. We know. We know what you did to him. What do you mean... We know what you did. We were watching right as you. Right as I attack you? <laughs> nice one. Um, not there yet, so... Um, let's try his skills. Ooh, so, oh god. Why? That's cheating. Stop giggling. It's scaring me. Alright, let's... Uh, no, it actually does take a lot of MP, so let's keep attacking. Oof. Alright. You need to be here soon. Oh, as I came in, the zookeeper was feeding the monkeys. The monkeys were screeching loudly. I had a vision of that. He should just die. Huh? What's going on? Monkey's giggling. Why are you giggling? This is not good. Then I talked with the zookeeper a little. The zookeeper was really nice and secretly let me into his room. I felt like this was what having a big brother would be like. Oh, please tell me it's not what I think it is. When I thought that, I got kind of sad and hit the back of the zookeeper's head. He was squatting in front of the cage, so it was easy to hit him in the head. Why would you hit him? Russell, what's up? Are you okay? You can think about stuff later. This guy's pretty weak now, just a little further to go. Yeah, let's end him. Oh, jeez. Alright. Let's skill yo this guy. Yeah. Ooh. My dude is about to die. Let's, uh... Item, um... <sighs> that was a waste. I mean, you stupid. But then again, there's no way to sleep. 30 experience, got 10 walnuts, capsule obtained, Russell is level 3. Oh my goodness, what the fuck? Okay. Man, that was rough. Russell, you hurt? But just, what was that thing? Seemed kind of sad, huh? Or well, maybe that's just me. I mean, he's blue, so maybe he's sad. You know, blue, get it? <laughs> Alright, can't forget what we were here for. Let's get this to Gardenia quick. Can we... 
Teleport back, please. No! I'm so low already. Look at my health. Skill, let's do some squats. Skills. Oh, I don't have enough MP. Alright. Attack! Yay. What was that monkey all about? You are within your own dream. If you wish to return, you may. If you do not, goodbye. Return to the entrance of this area? Return. Yes. I don't want to walk all the way back. Yay. Shortcut. Alright, let's go talk to Gardenia. She probably is, you know, really happy. And she's going to give us, you know, like a good reward. If you know what I mean. Maybe some meat pie. As long as she don't put us in the meat pie, that would be nice. Here, Gardenia, the ornament you were fretting about losing. It's the right one, right? Wow, yes, yes. This is it. Thank you, both of you. I'll never lose it again. <laughs> That's what she said. She's definitely gonna lose it. Yeah, please. Me and Russell had a pretty bad time thanks to that thing. Hmm? Really? But I'm glad you're safe. Thank you too, Russell. I don't think that's a thank you. You should be telling someone who almost risked your life for you. Oh, I know. Here you go. It's your reward. I knew it. There was a reward. Oh, Tina, healthy carrots. Really? Not even a meat pie? Okay. Well, a guy wants his meat, you know, woman. <laughs> Does it, doesn't it look delicious? And It's made from a healthy carrot, freshly picked from the field outside. The carrot was probably screaming when you picked it up, Gardenia. I'll be careful not to lose anything else, but I'll count on you if anything comes up. Okay, so here's my theory about this game. I don't know, but so far in what I've seen, I feel like all these people are unaware of what condition they're in. It's probably, it kind of reminds me of this one anime that I used to watch. It's that uh, this girl that she's not, she doesn't realize that she's in, she's stuck in a world that all the people are infected around her. And there's no more real human being. It's because her craving to be alive with live people so much that she she's not aware of what's going on she she thinks that zombies are human now and in her eye they look like human but they're not it's because you know she i don't it kind of reminds me of this game it's like all these things are probably artificial i might be wrong but yeah sigh Ew. that was more time consuming than i expected sorry you got involved russell ended up really helping me though thanks well if anything he really does the most damage can I buy weapons? Or I'm going home. Don't hesitate to call me if there's anything you need help with too. Aw, he left my party. Okay, this one I pretty much know. By talking to an orange balloon, you can re-add people as helper members. Always remember to bring some helpers along. Uh-huh. Automatically remove from the party whenever you return to town. Okay. Can you give me a meat pie? Yeah, you did. Huh? A weird monster? Hmm, I wonder. I've never seen anything like that. Anyways, sorry. I didn't know any of that happened. I better apologize to Tsubasa too later. Okay, good. You should. And no more screaming carrot, please. So... I'm done with this. Can I get my ID now? Mr. Mayor. That probably has a weird craving for his young little maid. Good day, Russell. Please come in. Do you wish to see Mr. Saxon? Um, but Mr. Saxon just left for the medicine shop. Actually, I'm sorry. The master seems to get on well with Miss with Dr. Cantera. You see, he often goes to chat with him. In the meantime, I do cleaning and cooking while I wait for him to come home. Aww, you really love him, don't you? It's cute. But then again, his house is not that big. I mean, it probably is. Oh, I don't know. It's, you know, game. It's a game. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. Alright, the medicine shop is over here. Hello, hello. Oh, it's you. Fancy that we're meeting. We meet here. Having health issues, perhaps? Myself. I'm here for medicine. I'm not as strong body as I may appear. Thus, I chat with Dr. Cantera while I'm at it. Why as of late? It's become something to anticipate. He's young, yet highly knowledgeable. You ought to talk with him, too. You should learn much. Yeah, but I want my ID card. I don't care, I'm only 14. You appear quite fatigued. You must not overdo it. So then, what do you need? 
Show me medicine. Let's let us chat. <laughs> Saxon is my tea drinking friend. We discuss this and that of our daily lives over sweets. I don't see any sweets in here. You're free to visit anytime yourself. I'll have Manju prepare for you. Our conversations are long. Note, once you sit down, you won't be going for two hours at least. Ho oh, oh. ho. That's how you laugh? Okay. Well, I mean, dude, I need my ID. Okay, you're saying the same thing. I need my ID card. I want my ID card. So what am I supposed to do? This game is a little bit confusing sometimes because... I know what to do. Remember that guy in the treehouse? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Hello, dude. Can you help me? Get his health. Yes. What is my health condition, though? Let me check. It's still not healed up? That's fucked up. Alright, that guy's gone, so I think it's safe to go in now. Is it safe? It is safe. Hello, kind boy. So you kept your promise. Now that the monster is gone, my siblings can once again do business. Thank you. And I will also keep my side of the promise. Okay, please take this. A doubt bracelet. I wonder how much the power of doubt can protect your mind. Well, so long. Why do you talk like that? It's scary. Alright, let's see. We got the new thing. Um... Defense up? Yeah, I definitely need that. Um, food? Um, diary. A thick diary. It feels relieving to have it. Uh, uh -huh. Everything's gonna be the same. What about you? Do you have an ornament? No, I can't share it with you. Alright, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm equipped. It's still blocked here. Can we go back there and see? Ah, this thing gotta stop. It's like that pssst sound is like, ugh, it makes my goosebumps. Okay, I'm really low on MP and everything, so let's just freaking attack them. Oof, 11 damage. Annoying though. I like how you call them annoying because they're red. Get it? Don't? Okay. Ooh, 10 damage. Good job, Russell. 8 experience. Really? I just... Oh. Excuse me. Is there anything in here? No? Okay. Well... Uh -uh. Why do you monkeys like to appear? <laughs> Die. Yeah, baby. Take that. <sighs> okay. I really want to stop running into those guys. Because I just want to see... Mmm! No yo, monkey. No yo. Oh, cool. Alright. Anything here for me, maybe? The mon The fucking cats are still blocking my way. Okay. Let's see how it is. Alright, alright. Peace. May peace be with you, my friend. I wish he can sprint. Come on, dude. This walking speed is killing me. Alright, we're back. Won't open. Okay. So what am I supposed to do? He won't give me the ID card. I can't go by. And, um... I went back there. I took my rewards. What is this? Alright, so he's not home seems to be locked, so what am I supposed to do here? That is what I want to know. Oh. <sighs> Alright, this game can be a little bit frustrating. Well, not really, but pretty frustrating. 
Wait, where did all the sheeps go? There were sheeps here before, remember? Maybe Freya took them away. Okay, it won't open. Alright. Kind of a chill run running down my spine. Should I go inside? Not yet. Save first. Um, I'm a little bit worried that I'm probably going to get jump scared here. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. Enter. I knew it. A piece of paper with a drawing of a monkey. Read it. <sighs> let's do this. That's yelling. <clears throat> That yelling was annoying, so I decided to go to the zoo today. I got the entry fee from mom's purse. As I came in, the zookeeper was feeding the monkeys. The monkeys were screeching loudly. I had a vision of dad. He should just die. Then I talked with the zookeeper a little. The zookeeper was really nice and secretly let me in his room. I felt like this was what having a big, bro big brother would be like. When I thought that, I got kind of sad and hit the back of the, of the zookeeper's head. He was squatting in front of a cage, so it was easy to hit him in the head. Why wouldn't he be my big brother? I was sad. Annoying monkeys, shut up. Annoying monkeys. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Did you kill the monkeys? Oh my goodness. A familiar diary. Should I open it? You can tell me to rehab... Re rehabilitate rehabilitate but I don't really know what I should be doing in this dream I don't have that guilt the adults are always talk the adults are talking about in the first place so not even this dream will blame me everyone in this dream is kind and for now it's just enjoyable what am I supposed what am I supposedly atoning for in such happiness I'll have this dream again that's the happiest thing for me now and thinking about what will happen tomorrow makes me feel excited <clears throat> With only feelings like that, there's no chance I'll be rehabil rehabilitated. So I think this experiment is pointless. Once they see I'm no good as a subject, of course I'm just going to die. But I really don't care. You're only 14! Why is your life so dark? <gasps> oh my goodness. Hey Russell, what did I do to you? <gasps> I didn't do anything right so why did you do that oh my god why what's going on wait is he the he's the zookeeper you thought no one was watching but <gasps> they were watching i don't want to go back there I don't wanna, I don't wanna, that's it, that's it, that's it, fuck you and your corporate, that's, that's it. I'm not going in there, uh-uh. No more good night for me. Good morning, deranged maniac. I'm not a maniac. How was your happy- It wasn't happy! My hairs are all standing right now, oh my god, I can't see it. Oh my fucking god, what the hell was that? Now, in the happy dreams, your experience and the people you've met in your life appear in a variety of forms. In other words, what you see in your dream is all a fabrication of your own mind, so we take no responsibility for any potential harshness. You reap what you sow. That's a really nice advice, lady. This is a good opportunity for you to get a new look at your foolish, twisted ways, character, personality, etc, etc. Please do your best and suffer. Why are you happy that I'm suffering? You're laughing right there. That's all for now, so let's happy dream. I am not going in there. That That's it. Nope. Nope. I'm not going back there. I... No, I'm not. 